I'm going to show you the 1000 litre rainwater harvesting facility that I've installed recently. Well, certainly in the last couple of months. I haven't shown this in a video yet, but that is it there. That's basically a 1000 litre IBC. And I, I really should have looked up what IBC stands for. I'm sure the last word is container. IBC, no idea. But that's basically a big plastic container within a metal cage and it's got a tap on the bottom. I've covered it with bamboo screening so it matches in really well with this stone that James has put on the back of his garage and I have positioned this at a level where James who will soon be living next door to me when he looks out of his kitchen windows won't notice it he'll be looking over the top of that yeah yeah there you go mr respectful to my neighbors nobody thought they would live to see the day when i was respectful to my neighbors <laughs> as i pan down here you'll probably notice a little bit of foliage down here various bits of foliage and under there we've actually got a 250 liter pond which gets sunlight from here and it also gets some secret sunlight from the other side. If I just pan down here, there you go. We've got a little window here built in the sleeper wall. And we've also got a ramp that goes all the way down there. So any frogs that are creeping around down in all this mess down here or want to come up from the field to the shelter in the pond, they can just climb up there. Go through the sleeper wall and get into the pond. Here is an overflow. So, I'd, you know, when all of the water comes off here, this tank is totally full. It'll just overflow. Go way down that bank side. On the outlet, we've got a click fit connector. That allows me just to put a hose on here. Then I can water the garden with very nutritious rain water. And if you're wondering how the pressure is, let me show you. Bear in mind, this is just purely the head of water up here. The atmospheric pressure pressing down. Let's check this out. Look at that. Pretty good. So that is my rainwater harvesting system. I'm pretty pleased with that because it's well hidden away. It's very useful. We've got a nice big roof up there to harvest the water from. So I don't think I'm gonna be short of good quality rainwater to water the plants. Before I go, just in case you haven't seen it, this thing behind me is a huge cold frame which I made over Christmas. I'll put the link to the video for that in the video description and also in the pinned comment. If you're watching on a telly and you don't have access to those sort of links, just search on my channel for Cold Frame and that'll pop up. Let me just quickly show you. This thing is about 10 foot long by 4 foot. It's a meter tall at the back. It's basically just made to fit reclaimed double glazed units that I got from my neighbor. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. And if you're wondering how that is so easy to lift up, let me explain. In there, we've got gas rams. So we've got a gas ram at each side. In fact, no. I'm not gonna show you any more of that. If you've already watched the video on the cold frame, you will have already seen inside of there and I'll have explained everything. I won't slaver on anymore. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.